today, so you may see the same shirt a couple times over the week. Trust me, <laughs> I do change clothes. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to Froggy Day Crochet. I'm Erica. So, little disclaimer as usual up front, I am in my beautiful she shed. So, if you hear the AC or the heater kick on, I'm sorry. There's really nothing I can do about the noise. I am coming to you today from beautiful South Carolina where our bipolar weather has struck yet again. <laughs> Yesterday at around, oh let me check my phone because I took a picture of it. Oh let's just see. Yesterday at 3 54 p.m. the thermostat in my house said if you guys can see that. I don't know if it will focus. Right over here, not that number, this number, 101 degrees. <laughs> it was 101 degrees outside yesterday. Today, the high is 70. Not complaining, but it feels cold when you go from 101 to 70. Another disclaimer right up front today, um, I have a little bit more time to do some extra things, so I will be filming several videos today, so you may see the same shirt a couple times over the week. Trust me, <laughs> I do change clothes. <laughs> I'm just taking advantage of having the whole day to be able to do um, some videos for you guys, okay? So, um, right now I think on this video I will show you um, a couple things that I got in the mail. Well, uh, yeah, um, a few things that I got at the store and maybe a couple finished projects. So where shall we start? Let's start with my project bag. So I'm sure everybody knows Ella from No Catchy Name. And I know this is a love-hate candy. <laughs> but when I seen this candy corn project bag, it had to be mine. So, I got this really nice, it's the candy corn on the outside and black with orange polka dots on the inside. It is a drawstring. It's a very nice size bag. And then it also came with um, a little notions pouch. So you could put, you know, whatever you're using at the moment, whether you need extra stitch markers or a pin or a row counter or, you know, what have you. And then she included this beautiful thank you card. So, I'm excited about that. I plan to use this all year round. It not just for um, Halloween. And yes, I do love candy corn. <laughs> okay, so that was the first thing that I got. And yes, I went back to the store. I know, I know, but look. You know, I know. <laughs> so I was seeing um, Crystal talking about this yarn from the new yarn from Red Heart. Roll with it. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Malang, maybe? Um, it is 100% acrylic. It is. 5.29 ounces, 389 yards. Um, let's see how huh? it says a 5.5 or US 9 knitting needle. 
No. I just lied to you. <laughs> the pattern on the ball calls for a number nine knitting needle. Not the yarn itself. <laughs> the yarn itself calls for a five millimeter US eight knitting needle or a 5.5 I crochet hook. Um, it is a number four. Um, it says you can wash and warm and dry. Um, the color that I got was theater. Now, I did get both of these at Hobby Lobby. They were, um, they're normally $6.99. And it's not wanting to focus. Um, but I got them for 30% off, so. Let me see if I can, yep, it's not going to let me do that because I am currently recording. So, let's see. See if that focuses a little better. Nope. Going to have to work on those settings. My son's been using my camera and uh, it's all such as life. <laughs> anyway, theater. Only had two. Um, Hobby Lobby does usually only carry a couple colors for some reason. So I thought I would give it a try. Um, yeah. Good thing about Hobby Lobby is, though, that they will do rain checks. So, you know, if you see, if you go in and the yarn is on sale that week and they don't have enough in stock, they will do a yarn check and they will honor that sale price. So that's a good thing. So that's the second thing I got. Um, the next thing I got, again, I really didn't need this either, but they were on clearance, so I could not resist. I ended up getting four of these, and they will go into my um, stash for later use for like... Um, summer or spring but I got four of the cotton cakes again these were on clearance three dollars and ninety seven cents um, so for those that do not know it is a medium weight number four um, calls for a US 7 or 4.5 millimeter knitting needle a US H or 5 millimeter crochet hook um, it says machine washable and dryable. 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, 8.8 .8 ounces in each cake for a total of 530 yards. So I got four of them. Like I said, they were on clearance. These were the only color they had, which this color is lilac. Um, not my favorite color. Probably not would have, not would have been. <laughs> probably would not have been my first color choice. However, um, with being out of the loop for several months, which I'm sure most of you know why now, um, I hadn't had a chance to uh, try this. So, I just like I said, I decided with it being on clearance for $3.97, that wasn't a bad price. So, um... What am I going to make with it? Not sure. Thinking maybe um, a light cardigan or a tank top of some sort for the spring. So, that will definitely go into my stash that you guys cannot see. <laughs> because I have another um, wall deal over... Not, not like this. Not like this. It's like a... Um, <laughs> like an old computer chest, you know, that you open up the doors and you pull out the thing for the keyboard. Yeah, I've got yarn in one of those, too. 
but not the whole thing, I promise, not the whole thing, only where the monitor would sit. So, <laughs> I kind of try to separate um, my springy, summery yarns away from like the acrylics and you know I've got the chunky up there which you know you guys know I can't follow my finger because it's backwards you guys know that about me so anyway that was the next thing I got that was it right okay so what have I been doing in the last couple days well the first thing I did I just could not resist I went right out and I got Ella's pattern for the Frankenstein bag. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to actually use this as um, a square on the, the September bingo for make a treat bag. I mean, yeah, I know it's a big bag, but it is a trick or treat bag <laughs> and I actually made it for um, my nephew's girlfriend's little baby girl well she's not a baby I call anybody little a baby but she's two um, and so I thought this would be the perfect size for her when they go trunk or treating isn't that cute okay so what did I do different from Ella's pattern well, she called for Red Heart. I did not have Red Heart in these particular colors. So, I used the Caron One Pounder. Which, that yarn is a lot thicker than Red Heart. So, instead of... And, it, and she does call for it to be doubled. So, instead of... Um, you know, I'm not going to go into details because this is a paid-for pattern. You can get it on Etsy, and I will link that below. But I did um, 18 rows of the green. And I did go up to an L hook. The pattern does call for a J, but I did go up to an L and then for the eyes, I did not go as many rounds as in the pattern. <clears throat> the pattern was wonderfully written. It, excellent pattern. Um, I just felt like I needed to adapt it because this one pounder is so much thicker. <laughs> so, that was the first thing I made. Well second thing really really happy about that okay and then dun, da, da, dun, da, da, da. mine is <sighs> weaving in the ends and putting on the border it is done done and I know you guys aren't going to be able to see the full effect of it. Um, I did post a picture on my uh, wall and I also put a picture of it in um, uh, the yarn bingo group. I will be using this as finish a whip. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so I did use the cranberry. The variegated one was called Birdsong. And then this was dark denim. And they were all from Hobby Lobby. Um, I will be uh, more than likely putting a 10 stitch border on it. Just because Tunisian has the tendency to curl. And I do not like the curling. Um, so, I definitely will be going back to do that. But this, in my eyes, is finished. And I do not care, currently, if I see another square. <laughs> so, 
So this ended up being four inch by four inch squares. The pattern was 15 rows, 15 high for a total of 225 squares. Yes, that was a lot. Thankfully, with it being entrelock, you know, you work as you go, so there was no sewing. All I had to do is sew in the ends. And I did get some, because I was out of this, while I was at Hobby Lobby the other day, I did pick up some um, of the Fray Check. I just put, I put a little titch, I mean just a teensy weensy bit on the ends of the afghans um, to secure them so they don't come out. And my uh, chihuahua looks like she must have been in my bag again. I'm sure many of you have seen that picture on my Facebook page wall as well. When my, her name is BB, when BB girl gets mad at mama for leaving her at home, she will knock my bag out of the chair or wherever it's sitting. She will pull the project out, whatever I'm working on, and lay on the yarn or get herself up in the bag. Ah, uh, uh. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It happens, right? Thankfully, she does it in a... How shall I put this? Loving manner. <laughs> where she doesn't snag anything okay so for that project now this is minus the border <laughs> I used a lot from my stash and I'll be honest with you I have not been keeping track of it the way I wanted to that was one of my goals at the beginning of the year for 2019. I also had uh, several project goals. And with everything going on in the last several months, I have not been able to um, do any of that or keep up with any of those goals. So, having said that, I did end up using two seven ounce cranberries at 355 yards each for a total of 710 yards. I used two seven ounce dark denim 355 yards each for a total of 710. <coughs> five five ounce bird song which is the variegated color 252 yards each for a total of 1,260 yards. Total yards currently before the border is 2,680 yards. Whew. That's a lot. And I didn't, I am proud to say, proud to say that I did not have to buy any yarn for that project. Did it make a dent? No. No, 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 no. I think what I'm going to start doing, and I don't know that I want to do it now because I just went out and bought more yarn, which that's for another video today. Don't know when it'll be uploaded, but I think what I'm going to start doing, I'm tracking, I'm, okay, I know I'm going to be tracking yardage used. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the pounds like some people are doing. I think for me, the yardage is best as well as the, um, skeins, skeins, I always say it wrong. You can correct me. Um, train of thought lost. <laughs> yeah, I don't. 
I don't think I'm gonna uh, do the pounds. I think I'm just gonna do the yardage. I'm gonna start now. I think, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start now. I'm anxious to see what I do from today, which is Saturday, October 5th, through the end of the year. Now, having said that, what I also am going to do is from today on through the end of the year, I'm also going to add any yarn yardage that I purchase. Um, happy mail. That kind of thing. Because I'm anxious to see, this is just for me personally, I'm anxious to see what the average is. Am I averaging using the same amount that is brought in or am I bring? I know I'm bringing more in, but I'm anxious to see that. So I think I'm going to start doing that. So as of right now, I did not count the yardage from the one pounder, one pounders, the green, white, and black because it was so minimal. So I did not count that. So, as of right now, I have used 2,680 yards of yarn. Um, I will have to go back through and add up the yardage that has been brought in. Um, I don't think that I'm going to count the scarfy and the... Um, shawl and a ball that I showed the other day only because I'm starting this now in October. So that does mean that the yarn I got from Premier and the yarn that I got for Llama Mama Kayla's Mystery Loom Along will count. So I can venture to say that even though I used 2,680 yards of my stash for this afghan, that I probably brought in double that. I think that this will help me personally by doing it that way to see, you know what, hey, you, you really need to do projects that work around what you've got. Um, so yeah. That is what I have been up to. We started that cow in the um, crochet group that I've been talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have that lingering cold and allergies that um, Carrie Penny has been talking about. We're actually in sort of the same area. She's now in the Charlotte area. I'm in the Rock Hill area, which is in South Carolina, but right across the border. And this has been a nasty cold. And the cough just lingers and you just feel all ugh. Um, and then mixed with allergies because I have allergies all year round. It doesn't help. So let's see. So we started this cow on September 11th. Um, I did not start the project on the 11th myself. Um... Let me look at my calendar. I started my project on... Well, how about this? Well, let's just go back to my photos here. And I can tell. The first picture I took 
that is not the first picture I took of it. Here's the fifth first. I took my very first picture that I took of that Afghan on September 28th. And it only had like 15 squares at that point. So for argument's sake, I'm going to say that was the 28th. For argument's say, sake, I'm going to say that I started it on Monday the 26th. And I finished it. No, wait a minute. Wrong month. Ha! Uh, Thursday the 26th. And I finished it on Friday, October 4th. But. Having said that, I worked on that thing constantly, like constantly. Um, if I was sitting at the computer watching YouTube, I was crocheting. If I went out somewhere and I was not driving, I was crocheting. I worked on that thing consistently only because it is part of the TCAL um, and I am co-host of that. But also because it is um, going to be a Christmas present for my mother. And I know that with that one being the biggest project that I'm doing, I did want to go ahead and get the majority of it out of the way. So, um, not normally that fast at Tunisian, but that was just, you know. This little guy right here took no time at all. I started this went exactly right after finishing the afghan last night. I brought the yarn out to my she shed, put the yarn for this in another bag and took this in the house. I got all the way to the first row of the black before I went to bed last night. So, let's see. I started on this. I want to say about 11 30 12 o'clock p.m. a.m. <laughs> and I went to bed about one o'clock this morning and then I got back up this morning just finished the additional rows of the black put the handle in made the little eyeballs and the um, little scar here um, I was thinking about doing another one, maybe in gray, and bringing the spike stitches down a little bit further, maybe to make them into a Dracula. But, like I said, I'm just thinking about that. I don't have any little ones anymore that do trick-or-treat. So, like I said, this was for um, my nephew's girlfriend's little baby. Again, not baby. Two years old. But... but baby to me. So, that is all I've got for you for this video today. Um, no. Actually, let me show you. I've been talking about several videos. I've said, oh my gosh, I left my tulip hooks in the house. So, let's talk about those. So, I got these from Amazon. They come in this cute little case. And you just unsnap it and it rolls open. Um, it comes with a pair of scissors, a little um, four inch. I think it's only four inch. Let me look because I didn't even pull it out to be honest with you. Yep, a little four inch ruler and two darning needles. Um, one with a bigger eye and one with a smaller eye. Uh, first thoughts. Love them. Acts really love them. They come in size D3 all the way up to J. So you have a D, E, F, G, a number seven, which is a 
4.5 millimeter, not the 7 millimeter, but a number 7. And then the H, I, and J. Um, they glide into the yarn very nicely. So yeah, I really, I really like them. Um, <clears throat> but what I will tell you, and hopefully I didn't say this already, because you guys know that my camera loves to turn itself off. <laughs> um, my boys use my camera a lot for um, taking pictures of their vehicles, which I have said before. So I'm not sure if it's something in the settings. And I always forget to look on the computer because, you know, I have everything hooked up to my computer to see if the red light's still on. And then I go off into this long, long, beautiful conversation and then discover that it wasn't recording. So, hopefully I did not already say this, but what I was going to say is... If you go to Amazon, and I know Joann's, um, there are these gray ones, and there are also ones with a pink candle. Joann's does sell the ones with the pink candle. Those are um, Japanese size hooks. They are not the American size. The gray ones are the American size. So. If you're going to do a project and it calls for a specific hook and you are using the pink tulip, you want to make sure that you um, do a conversion to make sure that you are using the correct hook because their measuring system is not the same as it is in the U.S. Um, that was discovered by a friend of mine. Um, who also crochets when I believe it was a student of hers and I also had a ruler myself that we um, pretty much confirmed on and has been since thrown away. But a Japanese inch and a U.S. inch is just a titch off. So, the cro crochet hook sizes are different as well. <sighs> Hopefully I did not repeat myself. Hopefully I got everything in there that I had intended to talk about. Uh, anyway, I guess I will close everything up for now. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't show you these. I got these. My mother gave these to me. These little notebooks. I love Marilyn Monroe. If I have not mentioned that before, I absolutely love her. And these are, they're like a little magnetic book. And just, you know, a little notebook to take some notes on or what have you. I don't think they're sticky notes, um, but this one is like a leopard print little pad, and then this one says, I just want to be wonderful. This one's also magnetic, uh, and this one just has polka dots, and it says uh, Marilyn Monroe at the bottom. I love it. I love Marilyn Monroe. I have a lot of books on Marilyn Monroe. I have a lot of memorabilia for Marilyn Monroe. I have a giant, giant, I mean, I, can't, I don't even know the size of it. It's huge. Um, painted uh, picture of Marilyn Monroe from the scene where I believe it was seven year itch, don't quote, don't quote, but um, I don't think it was Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. But anyway, it's the scene where she, the famous Marilyn Monroe scene where she walks over the vent and it blows her white dress up. I have a huge 
huge painting of that on my bedroom wall. Um, and then I have, you know, other pictures, portraits, if you will, of her in our hallway. So, yeah. So that's a little tidbit, if y'all didn't know any that about me. I love Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Besides your art, I love Marilyn Monroe. So, um, <clears throat> Who was it, Crystal, the other day when she was doing one of her videos. Uh, we all know that Crystal loves Freddie Mercury. And so one of the questions that she asked everybody to comment on was, if you could go back in time, or if you could have one day with anybody in the world, famous or not, who would it be and why? Well, of course, my comment was Marilyn Monroe because I just I've always liked her um I think I would go back in time sit with her all day and have her tell me what really happened you know what really happened such a tragic end to a beautiful life now she had problems yes we all know that she was having problems, and if she was still alive today, she probably, now I'm no doctor, but she probably would have been diagnosed with bipolar issues, which would have maybe helped her go about her life in a different manner. Um, was she perfect? No. Nobody's perfect. But I find it hard to believe. I really do. I mean, I know if you're going to, somebody's going to say, oh, conspiracy theory, whatever. I really find it hard to believe that she committed suicide. I just, I have that, I find that very hard to believe. But anyway, that's my opinion. I'm not here to argue with anybody or what have you, so. Just thought I would throw that out there since my video stopped recording and I had to, um, you know, figure out where I was. But, any hoot, my battery on my camera is low. So, I guess this will end up being the first video so I can charge the battery while I am editing this and uploading it so that I continue to so that I can continue to record the other two videos that I have planned for today. So, again, I'm not sure when those will be up, but it will be sometime this week. I definitely do not want to upload all three of them in one day, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? So, until next time, I hope everybody has a great day wherever you are. I love every single one of you. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider, you don't have to, but please consider hitting the subscribe button below and the little bell so you know when I upload another video. Until next time, stay froggy everybody and we'll see you later. Bye.